First, I'll be using my semi-modular synths to lay down a beat. So it's gonna sound like this. On top of that, I'll be running my harp through the Maris Auto Bit for bit crushing and stutter sounds. For the lead line, I'm using my MIDI controller that's hooked up to my Game Boy to make some sounds like this. Maybe you think you're too cool for video game sounds, or maybe you don't play video games and you're like, that's, that's dumb. Well, you can also use AutoBit on drums to help make some sick fire beats. <laughs> Wait, do people say sick fire beats? I don't think that. <laughs> My good friend Jared, Jared Beats, usually sends me beats that I play harp along to, but today we're gonna do something different and run his beats through the pedal. I used the stutter and the filter effect on Jared's beats that he sent over. I'll show you the beats without any effect, and then I'll show you them with the effect. So that's great, and that's very cool. And I still wanna play harp over that track, so I'm gonna use this really great lo-fi pedal, the Woozy by Champion Lucky. So you can lower the sample right here to get those classic bit crushy sounds. And then you can adjust the bits knob to introduce some really nice gritty sounds as you adjust your sample rate. This is the stutter knob that controls when the stuttering effect happens. You can also set the stutter knob to random, which I'm a big fan of doing. <laughs> The AutoBit Junior also has a sequencer here with a ton of different options. Not only can it be a pitch sequencer, but it can also be a filter sequencer that works really great on polyphonic instruments. To adjust the steps of the sequencer, you hold down this Alt button and adjust these knobs. So I'm crushing it. I'm using the sequencer and a stutter effect <laughs> on one track. <laughs> And then on another track, I'm gonna be using two pedals from Von Gone. We got the Onset, which is like a volume swell. And then we got um, the, the Ultra Shear, which is reverb and vibrato. And these two in combination are gonna make some like nice like whale sounds. It's gonna go like, ooh, like subtly.
Autobit can make a lot of different sounds and sometimes it can be easy to lose them. So Maris sells a preset switch. I have one on my board for my Enzo pedal. It's really easy to recall my favorite sounds and settings just by, just by hitting those buttons. Autobit Junior also sounds great on the low end, so I'll be running it through the bass pickup of my harp and adding a shimmer reverb on the rest. <laughs> Thank you so much to Maris for sending me the Autobit Junior. I have had a lot of fun bit crushing, sequencing, and stuttering <laughs> with this pedal, and I'm just really excited to keep exploring and discovering more sounds. Thank you.